Hello everyone. I'm going to teach you the very basic concept of nave string matching. Let me first tell you what nave string matching is and what string matching basically is. String matching is just matching of the strings. String is a collection of characters. Uh, here the user will be providing a predefined set of characters that is a pattern and uh, the computer will already be containing a set of characters that will be the text. Text will always be uh, longer than the pattern. So there are basically two things that we are going to match. One is the text and one is the pattern. Text is always uh, bigger in length as compared to the pattern and uh, we will assign the length of the text to n and we will assign the length of the pattern to m the length of the text to n and length of the pattern to m now uh, as we can see over here in the example i'll be basically correlating both the example and the algo together so uh, the pattern that we have over here is p and the text as you can see over here is of length 10 which is uh, t t is uh, an array and the length of the text is equal to 10 as you can see and we'll assign this value to n, n is equal to 10. Now we'll be assigning the value uh, m equal to 3 as that of the length of p. Now uh, we'll start matching. Uh, here the pattern we have b a b. For the matching purpose there is something very special I need to tell you about. It is s. s is basically the shift. Shift also acts as a flag of telling us if we have found the, part, uh, the pattern or not and shift also acts as a counter. So it does two works, counter, sorry for the handwriting and the flag. Now we'll start matching. Our shift is at 0. The shift by itself, uh, actually the shift is not at 0, the shift is at 1. Uh, we'll start matching. When the shift is at 1, we can see the text contains A, B, C and we'll match it with B, A, B, it's not matching. We'll move the pattern uh, one shift ahead. That means now shift is equal to 2 and the previous shift as you can see was 1. Now we'll increment the shift to 2. As you now incremented the shift, uh, we'll again check if B, C, A is equal to B, A, B. Uh, we can see that it's not equal, so we'll again uh, put the shift to 3. When we put shift equal to 3, then we can see there is CAB, which is again not matching with BAB. We'll again move shift equal to 4. We have moved shift ahead with 1. And uh, after moving the shift ahead, ahead with 1, uh, we can see that it's ABA, which is not again matching with the pattern. We'll again move the shift to 5. And here we can see that BAB matches with the text BAB. So we can say that the pattern occurs at shift S. We just have to say that at shift S equal to 5, we have found the pattern. That's all. So uh, you can see it's the very basic thing. And one more thing I want to tell you, I'm, I'm just going to correlate the whole algo with this thing. Uh, as you can see, the length of the text is 10. So n will get the value of 10 over here. Then I'm talking about m. m will get the value 3. m will get the value 3. Uh, then coming to the for loop. As you all know, for loop is used for a repetitive process. And we'll be basically checking each and every uh, letter with the other letter that is present in the text as well as the pattern. So we'll be checking p 1 to m. 1 to m is basically just for the algorithm uh, and uh, t s plus 1 to s plus m. Here s plus 1 signifies that the basic value of s which was already 0 has been changed to s plus 1 that means it won't be counting anything from the outside it will count it will be counting everything from the inside. From the inside means from the first position itself. So it will be checking uh, each and every letter from pattern p and each and every letter from pattern t. This double equal to operator as you can see over here checks if the value on both sides are equal or not. Uh, and as soon as we get that the, the patterns are equal, pattern that is present in P and pattern that is present in T, we'll uh, assume that pattern has occurred on a shift that is equal to S. So it was extremely simple. I hope uh, you really like the video. Thank you so much for your time. Love you guys. Bye. Take care.